Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have such an exciting message to bring to you tonight. I, when I first read this, before getting on with uh, Grafted in Team Jesus, I found this on Signal, which is our messaging system. Instead of just text messaging, we use Signal. Some of y'all probably have it too. And I started crying, tears of joy, and crying in the spirit but it was joyful it wasn't sad at all and now I, I'm um we ended early because they did their live stream early and I said I want to go to I want to go share that message with my subscribers on YouTube there's a lot of you that know you're part of the bride the first fruits the first group of 144,000 some of you you don't know if you're going to go in the first quote-unquote rapture or escape or not. But even if not, this should give you encouragement knowing that we're coming back to help you. All right, so let me start reading it. This was a Rishi. Look, I'm already... I can't tear up now, Lord. I hate it when that happens. I'm so emotional, y'all. It's just so silly. But I can't help it. All right, it's it was received by Patty Young uh, today at um, well, it's it's timed eleven twenty six a.m. October the eighteenth, and yeah, this is still the eighteenth. <laughs> okay, and it's it's eight almost eight thirty p.m. now, Central Standard Time. <laughs> All right, here's what here's let me read it. The Lord gave me this word this morning. Fierce and angry is their countenance. They look at the behemoth and laugh. For who can make war against these? My army. For I have forged a peculiar people who stand and bear my name. Their comeliness has no appeal to this world. These are strong, for in them I have placed my might, power, and my strength. Unknown, for what name shall they bear but mine? They come as I am, and will say, The God of all Israel, the God of Jacob, the God I am, has sent me. And he has sent me to destroy the works of your kingdom. Oh, I can hardly wait. Their numbers are few, but fire is as a seed I have implanted in their bones. There is no understanding of my ways or of my choosing. For I have searched far and wide to seek my brethren who would follow me and my ways. These are the ones in the wilderness. These are the ones who are crying out, make way for our soon coming king. In my righteous judgment, I shall enable my army. With a shout and a cry, I shall bring these forth to declare all of my works throughout the land to nations and kings and rulers and powers. Behold I, the Lion of Judah, shall now come forth with my army of excellence and declare unto the world all that the Father has given unto me. I am the beginning and so I shall be the end. And that's the end of the message. And <laughs> that is so exciting. And it won't be long now, brothers and sisters. If you are part of this Harvest Army, praise the Lord. We will be going outside of time, getting our glorified bodies and coming back and being this. This, what he's talking about that he gave to our sister Patty Young. Need I say more? I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections. And I say, oh boy, I can't wait to meet each and every one of you. Oh, it's going to be so wonderful to get to really, really make a difference. I mean, seriously. 
I don't know why the colors are changing on my face, but that's strange. <laughs> the light seems to be the same. Okay, anyway, I'm going to end this here and say good night, everybody. And God bless each and every single one of you and whatever you do. If you are left behind and you are threatened that you cannot do this, cannot do that, cannot work, cannot buy. Unless you give in and take it. Don't do it. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, you acknowledge him. And he will direct your paths. And we will be back to help you. To heal you. Get you delivered of your demons. Heal your sicknesses, your broken hearts. And feed you. Because there won't be food to be bought if you had money put back. If you could somehow get into a store to buy it. That's why all those cargo ships containers are stacked up in the ports out west. They're stacked up and stacked up and stacked up. And it's not because all the drivers have quit on account of the vaccine mandate. Some have, yes, but there were truck drivers sitting out there waiting to have a, a, one of them cargo containers put on their their 18-wheeler so they could haul it off to stores. They're holding on to it. I'll try to find that video. I know Kathy and Dan, when they did their live stream, they included two videos. So the links will be on their website. I don't know if it'll be up yet, but I know I can get it and add it tomorrow. Maybe I can by the time this uploads. Theirs will be uploaded and I can find those two little short videos and include them. So you can see just how stacked up those contain. I mean thousands. It's thousands. And they mentioned how China, back in the springtime, put out where they had developed uh, uh, something like an uh, ICBM. Ballistic missile, what is that? Intercon I C Intercontinental anyway, it's not the same thing. It's a missile that comes or is taken to somebody's port and the thing opens up on the top and the missile shoots out of that cargo container that normally might have tons of toilet paper in it or clothing from China. Yep. Bombs. Are those containers full of bombs? Some of them? It's just a question. And a particular video where the guy was taking a video waiting around for his truck to be loaded onto, I think is what he was. He said he'd been there all day and he was taking, just getting a little one minute video of how he'd been there all day and those trucks hadn't moved and the cranes had not moved a single bit and how there were so many cargo things just stacked up out there. So they are creating the famine and the lack of supplies. Tractor uh, farmers can't get repair parts for their tractors and other uh, gardening equipment. You know, they have those big machines that do all the digging and sowing and reaping and all that stuff now. And they need parts when things break down, just like when your car needs new brakes. Well, where do those brakes come from? Where do the parts come from? Apparently from overseas. They're probably sitting in a cargo container on the West Coast. Anyway, I've gone on long enough. With that, I'll say bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to you later.